Since 2017, there's been a conflict taking place between non-state armed groups and the government of Mozambique in the province of Cabo Delgado. It's resulted in large-scale destruction and displacement. More than half a million people have been displaced. Around 670,000 people have fled for their lives. Schools have been destroyed, hospitals have been destroyed, and people have found themselves living in terrible conditions um, where they've sought safety. Towards the end of, this, uh, towards the end of March, uh, an attack took place in the town of Palma. Palma was a place where displaced people had already come to, to look for safety. They had fled from other parts of the province um, looking for safety and instead they, they, they ended up having to flee into the bush um, during a period of intense violence that lasted over a period of days. Many of them went into hiding, uh, they didn't eat, drink or for days at a time. When a place is attacked in Cabo Delgado, people flee the area. They often flee into the bush and remain in hiding for a period of time, um, sometimes days. They, they wait for a moment where they're able to continue their journey to safety. Sometimes they're walking for days at a time to, to reach a place where they, where they feel safe. Um, often families are separated. They've experienced severely traumatic events during the, 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 the flight. Um, many of them have their houses destroyed, their livelihoods destroyed. And when they arrive in places uh, of safety, sometimes they're hosted by fellow community members, um, often in overcrowded conditions, where the, the, there's often a lack of, of access to, to basic services because there's a strain placed on, on existing um, services such as healthcare or, or water. Others are, are, are finding refuge in camps, which are often around the capital of Pemba. There, the conditions are, are extremely difficult. There's overcrowding, there's a lack of access to, to safe drinking water, shelter is poor, um, and there's a real concern for, for outbreaks of disease such as cholera. Um, of course, COVID-19 in such a context is extremely uh, difficult. What's needed in Cabo Delgado is the basic necessities to sustain life. People need water, food, healthcare, shelter. Um, we're talking about emergency needs for a population that has been uprooted and displaced and found safety in extremely difficult conditions. Others are still trapped in places where there is insecurity and they need to be provided with, with access to the most essential um, services to, to sustain life. Um, what we've seen in Cabo Delgado is that the level of the humanitarian response just doesn't match the level of the needs. The needs are far higher and, uh, than, than the response that we're seeing on the ground and we need to see that scaled up. The challenge we face in scaling up that response is often due to restrictions that are placed on us in terms of bringing in medical supplies and additional resources and those restrictions need to be lifted for the entire uh, response to be increased to meet the urgent needs of the population.